Philadelphia after members of the Philadelphia Eagles medical staff rushed from the sideline onto the field Monday to check on nine-time Pro Bowl offensive tackle Jason Peters, a few players followed. Then a few more trickled out. And soon, a steady stream of Eagles jogged to surround their 35-year-old team captain on the field. By the time trainers lifted Peters onto a cart, with an air cast covering his left knee, 51 players circled him, shouting encouragement and patting his massive shoulders. A crowd of nearly 70,000 belted out chants of, Let's go Peters, let's go Peters as the cart carrying the bird's left tackle disappeared into a tunnel at Lincoln Financial Field. Cornerback Patrick Robinson, who's been in the league since 2010, said after the Eagles' 3,424 win over the Redskins had never seen so many players rush out to support an injured teammate like that. We are really a team like really, really together, said Robinson, who's waiting to hear word on the severity of Peter's injury, along with the rest of the Eagles. It was cool to see everybody go out there. I mean, Peters is the biggest leader on the team, center Jason Kelsey added. He's an unbelievable player, an unbelievable guy. After bittersweet victory, Philadelphia Eagles coach Doug Peterson praises resilient group. The reasons why players felt compelled to rally around Peters are simple enough. The 14-year NFL veteran is a beloved figure in the locker room and a sturdy presence at left tackle, and the injury could threaten a Hall of Fame caliber career, particularly if it caused ligament damage. But what's less obvious is why a singular Eagles player remained on the sideline Monday night as teammates swarmed Peters to offer well wishes. Linebacker Nigel Bradham cleared that up afterward he said simply didnt realize what was going on. For one, I didnt know who was hurt, Bradham said. If I'd have known a team captain was hurt, I would have obviously been out there. But I'd didnt know it was a team captain. And then, by the time I realized it, it was too late. I was like, oh no. It's going to be obvious if I'm the last one. So I was like, all right, I guess I'll just talk to him in the locker room. Bradham laughed about the misunderstanding but reiterated that Peter's loss would be a resounding blow to the team on the field and emotionally. The way Peters handled his injury underscores the value he brings to team, quarterback Carson Wentz said. As trainers raised Peters from the turf onto the cart, the 325-pound left tackle shouted to offensive line coach Jeff Stoutland, trying to provide a few tips to share with his replacement, second-year pro Halapolavati Vitae. He did and he even care about his injury, his was just trying to coach and just help us out, Wentz said. That's just the type of guy he is. He's the type of guy, according to several Eagles, that deserves more respect than a typical player. So even though a full squad swarming of an injured player ISNT an everyday occurrence in the NFL, Kelsey said he'd WASNT surprised to see it. Absolutely not, he said. He wouldn't expect anything less for Peters. Philadelphia Eagles coverage on Live at Aaron Kez reports.